The northeastern region of Thailand is home to many diverse places of interest. Just a 50-minute flight from Bangkok, I was on my way to take a look at Ban Chiang National Museum. Another tremendously interesting place of interest in northeastern Thailand is the Ban Chiang National Museum, an archaeological site completed in 1975 following a visit by His Royal Highness King Bhumibol in 1972 where it was suggested the place be preserved and protected from illegal digging. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992 and is now considered an integral part of the nation's cultural history. Ban Chiang is open Tuesday to Sunday from 9am until 4pm and the admission cost is just 150 baht for foreigners. The museum is situated right next to the peaceful Buang Na Kham Reservoir. Now, as museums go, Ban Chiang is certainly of a world-class standard. It has been open to the public since 1981 and underwent a major renovation in 2006. Construction was completed in 1975, including the excavation pit. It hit the world stage in 1992 when the Pennsylvania University, in cooperation with the Smithsonian Institute, organized a traveling exhibition entitled Ban Chiang, the discovery of a lost Bronze Age. It then traveled around the US for four years and a further year in Singapore, before eventually settling here in Thailand for permanent installation. Donations have helped it to become the fine venue it is today. You'll be stepping into the past when you venture here. In fact, Ban Chiang became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. This scene here depicts the discovery of some important archaeological evidence. The archaeologists would take a photo with as much detail as possible before removing the piece from the site. A measuring tool was placed alongside the object for scale and the photo board was used to describe the pit layer and date of the photo. Ban Chiang is home to a large variety of interesting artefacts and prehistoric culture. The Lost Bronze Age exhibit was my personal favourite with clear portrayal of the way of life of these people depicting hunting, farming, pottery making, metallurgy and weaving. The Galliani Vedana building, one of the two buildings here, houses nine permanent exhibitions over two levels and provides some fascinating evidence of how we have evolved as a human race. After a most informative morning, it was time to head to another highlight in the region, Wat Pa Pu Khon, the magnificent temple in the mountain. Without a doubt, one of the most impressive temples I've ever visited, Wat Pa Pu Khon, affectionately known by the Thais as Heaven on Earth. You can see why. It was completed as recently as 2013. The beautiful feeling here is absolutely tangible. There's a beautiful 20 metre reclining Buddha inside. Let's have a look. Now there are temples and there are temples. And this is something special. This magical place is an absolute must see when coming to Udon Thani. The nation's tourism authority says it's one of the seven must see places to visit in all of Thailand. This place of worship is surrounded by 3,000 acres of lush forest. The magnificent 20 metre long and 9 metre high Buddha in Nirvana position and dragon statues are made of 43 Italian white Carrara marbles. The reclining Buddha alone took one year to build. It consists of three layers. Each piece of marble first needs to be carved into shape before all can be combined. In April of 2006, the team of craftsmen made the long journey to Carrara in Italy to source suitable white marble for this ambitious project. On the 31st of August 2006, the first piece of marble arrived at Wat Pa Pu Khon, and on the 18th of January 2008, the magnificent statue was finally completed. Wat Pa Pu Khon is a truly magnificent, majestic modern day structure in a beautiful forest setting and absolutely well worth a thorough inspection. <laughs>